Greetings, Mech Warriors. Welcome to 2023. I'm here with Darren, and we're going to share with you our plans for this year for Mech Warrior Online. Darren, Happy New Year. How are you doing? Happy New Year to you. I am doing very well. Thank you very much. I'm still here, and I am uh, excited about what we're doing in 2023. What about you? I'm very excited. Uh, the new year has started off with a bang, obviously. Um, <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet, there's a yes. big uh, interview that Phil did with Russ, and Russ dropped a couple bombs on there. So um, we want to communicate to you our plans for 2023. So let's jump right in, Darren. Let's do it. Matchmaker. Um, we know you guys are frustrated with the current matchmaker setup. We need a solution to improve matchmaker for the current population. You guys have cited weight class distribution, group distribution, skill distribution is a major issues, and so has the cauldron. They brought it up to us several times last year. But the great thing is, uh, you know, we did this put pitch to Russ uh, in December, and we got a commitment of uh, engineering time, and that engineering time is going to be starting work in February. I don't have any p details of that plan to share with you guys right now, because they have to absorb that information and figure out a plan to move forward but we will be keeping you up to date with that with our decisions and direction uh, for that now darren are you ready for the next slide because this next one's big this is a big one i'm yeah, very ready take, for it you take this slide my right? body is ready you're okay. ready 2023 we have a new mech pre-order on the way it's another completely new mech chassis um as you know we introduced last year the crusader and the hatchet man as new chassis into the game uh well we got a new one coming yeah um, I'm and not we're not revealing to... it quite yet are we but this is super exciting it's going to be a new mech coming this year and uh so you can look for maybe some hints or some teasing coming soon um we're super excited about that well, I, let's I, be honest it'll probably take them about five minutes to guess it there yeah after we release the, <laughs> if... the crusader was a huge success last year shared resources and and that kind of stuff has really been starting to work in our benefit for uh, MWO yeah. and MW5. It was great. We're excited about adding another new full neck to MWO. Um, and I can say, as excited as I was for the Crusader, and I was, because that's an inner sphere mech and it's a unseen mech, I was very excited for the Crusader. I love the implementation of the Crusader in Mech Warrior Online. I'm even more excited for this new mech. But anyway, let's also talk about the Hatchet Man, because there is a Hatchet Man update. Yeah. Uh, so we also mentioned this in, uh, when we were chatting with Phil, but we want to share it with everybody. Uh, you guys can look forward to, I guess, in January patch, uh, cockpit items being added to the package. So that will be added retroactively to everybody. Plus, we're going to extend the early adopters deadline to at the February patch. And then we're going to er add an early adopter bonus, which is a platinum hatchet man uh, and a platinum skin unlock if you grab the hatchet man before the February patch date, which I think is like the 21st. Yeah, and that is a good deal, folks. And when we say uh, cockpit items, that is all three cockpit items. So you'll have a standing, a hanging, and a mounted cockpit item coming for the hatchet man. That'll be 60 days then since we're extending the early adopters uh, rewards, basically, um, where you can see that the, the hatchet man out there in action, you can see the cockpit items, you can hear the war horn, and you can decide for yourself if you want it. But I will say, Platinum Hatchet Man is going to be pretty darn sexy, just like all the Platinum uh -huh. Yes, it is. The other thing is I'll extend the event where you can get additional rewards for purchasing the hatch. If you guys decide to pick up the Hatchet Man or you've already picked up the Hatchet Man, some new content coming to you. So 2023, new maps. So let's talk about the level designer, man. He is killing it right now. Uh, he's been addressing some long-term issues complaints that players have had about maps. It's just amazing. A couple of the images on this screen showing some changes that are actually coming in the January patch. Yeah, the, I can't uh, express my um, happiness and excitement enough in terms of maps and map updates. When uh, he first joined the team, he's just jumped right in the game and is um, mixing in really well with the community and the players and the cauldron. And he just plays matches and listens to the you guys talking, you the, the players talking about, you know, there's an invisible wall here or whatever uh, defects there are in all of our current maps. He's taken notes when he's out there playing and immediately upon hire went through and changed like 10 to 15 maps, little fixes. And he's lined up to have more uh, fixes to more maps 
um, coming up. And in addition to a full new map, he's just constantly out there engaging, playing, and finding all um, the little things that need to be addressed on the maps. And um, that kind of proactive involvement is just super exciting. And yeah, I'm very, I'm very, very happy with all the work that he's done so far. That's awesome. So the new map comes in March. And uh, along with that one, there'll be, well, there's four new maps this year. Uh, yeah. There's an asterisk besides the new because obviously, um, you know, he's going to be working with existing uh, assets, much like Francois did back in the day. Um, but he is, the full new map in March, he is actually uh, digging into creating a new terrain system first. So he's not basing it off of a faction play map, but future maps may have portions of other maps pulled in and stuff that but I think uh, of like um you know fan favorite uh vitrix station um you know and then francois built that using already existing assets so uh with some creativity and with good level design um you know we have the tools to make some really fun and exciting maps so i'm really looking forward to what we have coming yeah me too so this next one's a big one um, this is something we've discussed internally and we're really looking for you guys' feedback on this. Um, we talked about last year when we removed the Solaris 7 mode uh, from the game and we added the event queue. We added the, you know, the new skill tree that was somewhere around middle of the year, June, July. Um, we wanted to rebrand because we didn't have Solaris 7 as a key mode in the game anymore. And... We talked about it internally and we're like, okay, well, we can just drop Solaris 7 from the name. So it'd just be going back to Mech Warrior Online. Uh, and they were kind of like, well, what does that do, right? That doesn't move the game forward. And so we've done quite a bit of workshopping and discussing it internally. And uh, we're tentatively excited to you to announce what our goal is for this rebrand uh, and our working title, our current choice of title. But we want your guys' feedback. So the idea is we're going to rebrand to Mech Warrior Online Legends. And now this is not final art at all. Um, this is just me mocking something up in Photoshop. But we've already pitched this idea internally. We've certainly had a lot of debate internally. Um, and I think when we go into what the actual content strategy is around the rebrand, you'll get to understand why we chose this name, but we want you to know we're open to your feedback. So let's move into what the strategy, the, the content strategy is, and then absolutely it'll make more sense. So what is MechWarrior Online Legends? So the idea is that MechWarrior Online Legends is going to be a monthly legendary mech using existing chassis. Mini battle pass that comes with your purchase, themed sales and events around that legend. So what's a legendary mech? Well, it's kind of like this next evolution. Got standard mechs in the game, got champion mechs in the game with an XP boost and a pre-configured loadout, which is basically a standard mech. And then we've got hero mechs that come with like a 30% C-bill boost, uh, a stock loadout and a special skin. A legend kind of blends all of those ideas together. And it is a new variant, has a special skin, pre-configured loadout, and some other items. But again, we're open to your guys' feedback. This is currently our, our the name that we have that we feel is best. It makes sense within the context of like going from a standard champion and hero, and then legendary mech. Uh, we discussed, discussed uh, names like Mythic as well. But we feel like this one actually best fits the, the lore and the titling of right now. That's right. And, but for obvious reasons, we totally are open to feedback. Let's uh, hear what you think about it. Um, and uh, again, just want to hit on that's not final artwork. Um, yeah, so no, if that's we decide to it move up. forward, yeah, uh, if we decide to move forward, um, obviously we'll uh, put more work into that. But um, I think the, the reasoning behind picking the name makes sense. The question is, um, is it the best one and is it the correct one to move forward with? So, Let's hear what you guys think about that. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for the package. I'm excited for what we're doing with it. And I also think it's the best name in terms of what we're doing. So what is a legendary mech in mini battle pass? So the legendary mech takes existing chassis, but added a new variant with new hard points. 
pre-built loadout designed by the cauldron and the idea is to have an outlier quirk so give this mech something that makes it really special and legendary on the battlefield um, we're going for an lgd designation so it's not bracket l not bracket p or bracket s it's going to have a custom paint job and have a 30 percent c bill boost i want to see if we can add uh, some additional boost to it uh, what else is included in the pack there'll be a mech obviously the mech bay a title a badge a decal cockpit items and then it's going to come with a battle pass the battle pass is going to be based on your legendary mech's xp progression so as you use this mech you're going to unlock content it's going to be engines consumables gsp c bills mc chassis patterns bolt-ons cockpit items uh, and possible other unlocks like new decals and new custom colors so one of the key things about this that i feel is really important is that uh, we're going to launch on Steam at the same time. So when the Legendary Mech becomes available in the patch in game, it will be available on Steam at the same time. So if you make your purchases on Steam, you'll be able to go there and get regional pricing and then participate in the Battle Pass that way. So you won't have to go necessarily and buy it for US dollars on uh, the MWO site. That is the strategy for uh, new content. So that would be 10 new variants, around 10 new variants with Battle Passes and the new mech uh, this year for mech content. So just to be clear, when you purchase the mech, um, then that's purchasing the battle pass. So it's yeah. not going to be a separate thing. You purchase the mech, you then have a month's worth of content. Actually, how long is that going to last? Are we going to, is it going to just be month? I don't month? want it to go away personally. I, it's okay. like when the mechs go up for sale, um, yeah. I don't like the kind of the idea that, you know, battle passes come and go in, in other games. I mean, that's fine if it's a seasonal battle pass, but right. to me, buying the legendary mech is special. The, the mini battle pass is a part of that package when you purchase it. Um, and we really want to have a good value price on this where absolutely you go, you decide to buy it and you get to enjoy the battle pass at your leisure. It doesn't go away. There's no uh, time crunch. I know we've got plenty no. of events, plenty of events yeah. and, and stuff in this game where it's like, if you don't start soon enough, like if it's a free mech, or if it's the loot bags, people are always asking for extensions because they've got real life things to do. Sure. Personally, my opinion is the legendary mech and the mini battle pass, it's all one thing. You buy it, you enjoy your battle pass at your own pace. So that's cool. So no fear of missing out on yeah. these. Um, uh, I think it's going to be a really fun and um, exciting new addition to Mech Warrior Online. So let us know what you think. Yeah. I'm I'm super excited about it. I myself. forgot what slide is next. <laughs> well, let's let's just jump in and see the men in black. The cauldron. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. This so obviously, important. oh yeah, it is important. Um, is important. I don't think we would be able to pull off without the cauldron. So a huge thank you, cauldron. Um, yeah. We shared our strategy around the rebrand and the legendary mech system. And they've jumped in and given us ideas. I think initially I said there was going to be a stock loadout, and they're like, "No, let's do a tuned loadout, right?" Yeah. So um, they're excited to to dig in. They've sent us about ten different ideas for new legendary mechs. And in fact, you guys should send your ideas uh, to us about um, what new legendary mechs you'd want to see. I think Darren, you could mm -hmm. probably start a forum thread, but let's yep. design some legendary mechs. Yep. Um, and so we're going to continue to work with the Cauldron. Uh, they're a huge, huge asset to the team. Um, great contributors. They're going to continue to do mech stat and quirk changes, skill tree changes. We've got some, a, a whole bunch of those coming in the January patch. Weapon balance changes, equipment changes, new champions and trials over the course of the year. And then another really cool thing, which is a decal and badge update I want to share with you guys. Um, it's a small thing, but it's, I think, a good thing. They have uh, up or taken the oh, yeah. existing badges, in-game badges, and sent a version where they're actually up and done the tests uh, on it and, and shown that, yeah, it actually looks much better in-game with the up res decals, or sorry, badges. So uh, we're going to be implementing those in the game, um, I believe, probably around the time of March. Um, as well, one of the things I want to do is the decals. I want to take every badge from every previous package and then convert it into a decal and retroactively give it to people who own that package. So a huge amount of appreciation and thank you to all of the members of the Cauldron. And there's another thing that we want to do. 
We want to add new weapons to the game. The cauldron is requested to add new weapons. Um, I will say this does need some investigation. Um, as designed, they may not have new 3D models, so they may have fallback models. So if it's a ballistic, it may fall back to like a Ultra AC5 type of model. New weapons they've had coming some this good year. ideas. Yeah, yeah, they've already offered some pretty decent ideas. So I think this is pretty realistic. Obviously, like uh, you said, it needs some investigation still. But the idea of adding some new weapons moving forward a little bit uh, in the timeline and technology would be awesome. Faction play. So we brought this up. Uh, it's been brought up a few times towards the end of next week. I'm thinking I'm going to uh, start a thread. Let's talk about faction play. There's a few of them that will be coming out. Um, let's talk about faction play. Let's talk about event queue and let's talk about legendary mech. So there'll be some um, threads starting for some conversation with you guys. But uh, basically, in terms of faction play, we will be having a conversation with you with the cauldron and looking at possible fixes and solutions obviously starting with some low-hanging fruit what can we do to improve the uh, gameplay experience and faction play look for some bigger solutions and if if it's something that we're able to do so i know that there's a lot of you out there that are still playing it still enjoy it still love it so let's talk about it what can we do this is some stuff that uh, i've been working on with the web design team um you guys asked for it we heard you and we're going to implement this. So the Platinum Custom Collection. Players have expressed that they want to create their own custom uh, Platinum Collection. So what we're going to do uh, in January is we're going to be adding 10 new IS Platinum mechs in January and then we're going to make it so you can choose a custom collection in both Inner Sphere or Clans and then purchase it for 20 bucks. There'll be 10 more uh, IS Platinum mechs added in February as well. No, I was going to say, I've, I've had a lot of you uh, message me saying, I like this mech in this pack, and I like this mech in this pack. Can you please make it so we can choose our variants, and then I will be purchasing platinum uh, mech. So I'm very happy that we're able to provide that uh, to you for those of you that asked. The idea is that if you look at the history of all the pre-order packages and all the packages that we put into the store, obviously we had Founders and Phoenix um, that went away. And then we had clans as probably the largest collection that ever existed. The urban mech was the first uh, mech pre-order where we did an individual mech. So the idea is that we're going to start retiring older, larger bundles like the clans pack and then replacing it with individual packs of those mechs. You take the dire wolf and you break it out into its own package. There's a lot of packs there. And as well, we've got a lot of uh, mechs that we put out that were never in a package like the, you know, Mando, Dragon, Awesome, all those mechs. Mm -hmm. We want to give them their own individual pack. This is something that's going to happen over the course of the whole year. So it's not something where like everything's going to go away and everything's going to be added right away. It's a lot of incremental work and the team's going to be probably taking, if not the whole year, but longer to do it. But what we will do is we will let you know when those packs are going to go away. Uh, so if it's say it's the clans one is the first one that's going to disappear it will have a retirement party for it and we'll do uh mech pack sales and, and that kind of thing so it's time to kind of modernize the store a little bit so we haven't fully designed that the first thing will be changing the platinum mechs out into like a custom collection and then after that we're going to tackle this along with the rebrand so and, and <laughs> you take this slide Darren. first of all uh more consistent event queue events we've uh we were doing a lot of experimentation and discovery process basically with event queue in 2022 um what's working what wasn't working were there things that we could fix um got some great suggestions for event queues from players and streamers um so like i mentioned earlier we will be doing a thread let's talk about event queue i want to hear the things that you guys like more specifically the things that you don't like <clears throat> and open it up to some suggestions because some of our best events uh, actually were suggestions by players. The point is we're going to be more consistent in event queue this year um, so that number one, you have more heads up that it's coming. You can prepare, for example, drop decks for event queue. Obviously builds for event queue are different than builds for, or can be different than builds for um, faction play and for quick play. 
there will be, of, of course, we're continuing the monthly free mechs. Everybody's been enjoying that. Uh, you can add more mechs to your collection uh, free every single month. Uh, loot bag events. Everybody loves the loot bag events, so we're going to continue those. Of course, we have the Lucky Charms Beach Party Trick or Treat and the Stocking Stuffers that we just ended. Short I do want to say I am going to refresh uh, the, the prizes in there. Um, mm -hmm. I kept it, kept it pretty consistent last year, but I think it's time for a refresh. But uh, yeah, the loot bag events, always popular, not going away. Double XP events, um, Booster yeah. Hero events. Um, right. The idea being we're continue that, those. Yeah, we're going to continue those. Probably keeping them quarterly. And then annual report rewards program will be back this year. Um, There's a I, lot of shiny mechs out there right now yeah. <laughs> because of our annual rewards program. Uh, a lot of people get a lot of exciting content every year, so we're going to continue that. I do want to make sure that we get some new variants in this year. The annual rewards program has traditionally been about adding new variants to the game. Man, they've already... They, they're always way more on top of it uh, than I am, but these guys have already uh, lined up the year uh, 2023 with all of the comp events, basically. We had record-breaking um, participation this year. It was very exciting. I always enjoy these tournaments, and uh, we will be doing it again in 2023. They've already said they want to do it. Uh, obviously, we want to do it. And there will be another supporter pack. The supporter pack had two tiers this year, record breaking support for the tournament. So yep. they had a nice uh, prize package, just a lot of fun. It's always fun to see how many of you are out there um, that love the, the comp scene as well. And a big thank you to MWO Comp for all the work that they do. Similar to the Cauldron, there's just so much work behind the scenes to do these types of things that these uh, groups bring to the player base. And uh, it's very significant. And part of what I love about this community is the passion that's out there and how much work people will put into these types of things, um, you know, above and beyond their already hugely busy schedule. So everybody involved in MWO um, comp, thank you very much. Uh, all the hard work you guys is, are doing is very appreciated. Yeah, so um... I wanted to show you guys the patch dates. Uh, January 24th is the next patch coming up. We've got a patch plan for every month. And you can kind of see here, a peek behind the curtain, the, we've got the patch notes date up there. Uh, we've got our zero bugs date, and we've got our work due date. So when it comes to the patch that comes out on the 24th, uh, the work that needs to go into that is actually due on January 6th. And we have to hit zero bugs by the 13th. This is how many patches we put out in a year. These are the dates we work to. You guys can, uh, you know, take at least the patch days to the bank and know that we've got another full year of patches coming out. And so, some of you have heard uh, us throwing around the word pipeline and, and development pipeline and so forth. Um, this kind of gives you a little bit more insight into what we're talking about there. Um, we're always working significantly ahead of where we're at and what you see. And Darren, let's get into our final thoughts. Final thoughts by Matt and Darren. Yeah, so <laughs> Mech Warrior Five. Um, obviously, here we are doing the uh, the devlog for MWO, as we said we would do this week. Yes, it's Friday. I understand that, but it's still this week. We're getting it out, and today also, fingers crossed, I will be getting out a blog post regarding uh, DLC Four for Mech Warrior Five Mercenaries: Rise of Rosso Hog, uh, which ships January twenty sixth. It's going to be a blog post, kind of breaking down the details of the free update uh, that comes with the the new DLC. So um, it's it's just getting into more detail, explaining a little bit more about what's coming in that free update. So that should be out uh, today or Monday at the latest. I'm going to say today, though. Um, also, <laughs> uh, the one of the big bombs that Russ did drop uh, on the No Guts, No Galaxy podcast is that we have a new... Mech Warrior project in the works. Um, now this is PVE slash co-op, more in line with what uh, ha is, has been done with Mech Warrior Five Mercenaries. Not getting into any more detail than that. This is a very exciting project. He also did touch a little bit on um, the potential for the next Mech Warrior PVP game. Um, so there's definitely no details about that. Um, but we do want to talk to you about it. What would you like to see in an iteration, the next 
mech warrior PVP game. And I've heard a lot of discussion out there in the community, uh, wish lists and desires, wants, needs of a new mech warrior PVP game. So let's talk about it. I think what's interesting is like you and I have had these discussions so many times, right? Mm -hmm. So many times, but we haven't had them been able to have them in the community. I feel like Russ kind of cracked the door open for us to start talking to them about it and asking them yeah. what, what is it they want to see? Like what, what, to me, what would be the perfect end result to this is that we start putting that energy out there, start collecting ideas, start building, uh, you know, on those ideas of finding a way to make that project happen. Um, as much as MechWarrior Online evolved over the years, um, it didn't get to evolve its business model like that. And I think that that's partially where I'm trying to push things with the Legends rebrand and these middle ba uh, these little mini battle passes that would come mm -hmm. with the those um, mechs and I think that you know with the community if we reach out there and figure out what is the next mech warrior or pvp game look like and how would that business model work and how would the game modes work and what do they want to see like I think that we can kind of like build it together yeah absolutely man and and, and hearing what you guys out there uh, have in your minds in terms of what would be fun and, and the next uh, great thing uh, is going to be exciting. You mentioned 12 years. We're actually coming up on the 10-year anniversary, I think, of it being live, mm -hmm. uh, MechWarrior Online. We're coming up on the 40-year anniversary of the Battletech MechWarrior franchise in general, which means I've been playing this game for 40 years, Matt. And so the idea of being able to continue this uh, with the next MechWarrior PvE project, with the potential for the next MechWarrior PvP project, and continuing to work with you, continuing to uh, work with you guys, the community, and, and be a part of this community is just an extension of my dream come true life. So uh, I'm very excited about what we have coming this year. I'm very excited about what we have coming beyond this year. And, um, you know, uh, just super grateful for being a part of this so i want to say thank you matt i'm glad we uh, sat down and did this um it was a wonderful year working with you last year i look forward to working with you this year um thank you the community the cauldron mwo comp love you guys and uh can't wait to start doing all this yeah me too um let's sign off you know sign off see you guys out on the battlefield all right and that's the end.